Hello, this is Chef John from Nona's at the Homestead, and uh, I will show you how to make some uh, braised lamb shanks. For starters, I have four beautiful uh, hind shanks. We're gonna, again, like everything, we're gonna season them. A little bit of salt and some pepper. Sear these in the pan a little bit. I'm gonna dredge them a little bit of flour to do so. Uh, I have already some oil going. Uh, if you have some gluten uh, concerns, you don't have to flour them. Uh, just make sure your oil is a little bit warmer so you get that searing effect because you want that caramelization. And what we want to do is get some color on them. Okay, so we have our lamb shanks. We get them to their nice brown. We're going to turn them over. So basically, we got a nice little color here and we are going to place them in our container. Now I'm putting it in something like this at home. You could probably use um, a Dutch oven, one of those aluminum turkey pans that you get at the store, anything that's gonna be able to hold the quantity that we're using. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this to our baking pan. And in the same pan that we got going here, we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables. And it's just celery, carrots, and onions. So we're gonna go ahead and add our onions, celery, some carrots. We're gonna go ahead and Again, get these cooking so they get some color and release some flavors. I have some beautiful uh, herbs that we uh, get from Three Oaks, uh, Michigan. Some thyme and some rosemary. We'll add a couple of sprigs. Again, if you don't like rosemary, you don't have to add it. If you like marjoram, if you like parsley, whichever herb you like. This is more or less a technique. So we're gonna go ahead and Get some color on that. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste, about maybe two tablespoons. And what we wanna do is cook it down. We wanna cook that. Cause that's gonna get all the sugars in the tomato paste to again caramelize and get a little brown. Again, every time we add something, we check for the seasoning. So we're gonna add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of saffron. Not too much. If you don't have saffron, it's not necessary. Now we're gonna add some red wine. I'm using a Chianti. And that's deglazing the pan. We're basically cleaning up all our particles that we have in there. And then finish our dish. We're gonna pour all our vegetables our wine inside our pan. We're gonna add some stock. I'm using a vegetable stock. Make sure they're in there. They're nice and tight so they don't bounce around too much. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it in the oven for about four and a half to five hours, about 300 degrees. And this is one of those great dishes that you can make uh, early in the day, go about your business, go cross country skiing, go uh, break some leaves, and then you know time it so that when you come home, all you have to do is put it out of the oven and you have a wonderful hearty meal uh, to enjoy with your family and your guest. Alrighty, so I've taken the uh, lamb shakes that we placed in our pan. I see I arranged them on a platter. I have some more root vegetables. I have some parsnips, some celery roots, some turnips that we blanched. Um, I kept all the, 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 the braising liquid that we retained and that's gonna make this wonderful broth. And we're gonna go ahead and just place that right on top of our lamb shakes. And uh, then we just finish it off with a little bit of um, gremolata which is parsley, lemon zest, and a little bit of uh, roasted garlic, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and voila, braised lamb shanks from Nona's at the Homestead.